Liliana is coming, and soon so shall we. Because Liliana the Veil is super iconic. That turn one discard, turn two threat, and then BOOM! Lily on turn three, with that sack, and then non-stop discard. A super big deal for Pioneer, because we also have the other Liliana. Forever flat, taking out on a creature, mill and return a creature to hand. But what's even kinkier is that we have Liliana's triumph, forcing our opponent to sacrifice a creature. But if we have Liliana, then they also have to discard a card. How brutal is that? But now for the real question, what is the best home for Lily? As big as her boobers are, her plus one is very difficult to build around, because we want Lily in a deck where games go long to maximize her discarding value, but because the discarding also hurts us, we want to unload our hand quickly. It's super difficult to unload your hand while also playing the long game. Jundan Modern did this very well, unloading his hand quickly and operating well with a zero card hand. So the question is, what Lily deck of Pioneer can unload his hand quickly while also playing the long game? And the first logical place to look is Pioneer's most played deck, Rakdos Midrange. We have turn one discard, cheap removal, early threats, cards to grind into late game, and man lands, perfect on empty hand, and perhaps the best card in the deck, Croxa. In Pioneer, passing it from Graveyard is pretty tough because there's no fetch lands. Both Lily discard ability. We can fill our graveyard faster than ever, and also to help with this, forever flat. But now here's my concern. Can we unload our hand fast enough so that we don't get hurt by Liliana's discard ability? Because on turn three, what do we play? Boobers Lily? Fable? Bone Crusher? It's a tough choice because they all compete with each other, especially Fable, which, like Lily, wants to be played as early as possible. But on the upside, Bone Crusher's stomp ability puts Bone Crusher into exile, so Lily won't discard it, and having cards we want in graveyard certainly helps. And of course, Liliana's triumph that two for one. Oh, I just want to do it so badly. That's what she said now, it's on the sideboard. We have graveyard hate, aggro hate, weenie hate, tombo hate, and large and a charge hate. That is the deck. And now it's time to see the boobers in action. Be sure to subscribe for more content like this. But without further ado, here's the gameplay, and I hope you enjoy. This isn't great. So mole. And yes, we'll keep. I'll seize. Oh, and this is hard like my uncle. As opposed to impulse. Plan for us. And we might as well stomp. Our opponent passes. Play Fable. Our opponent passes. We'll discard. And ooh, this is a tough one. Is it worth dumping Fable for Lily? Or waiting one turn? Play Fable. And now we shall clench. And what? They hard cast Phoenix? Are that desperate? We'll dump our land. And that's pretty good. Play Lily. Force our opponent to sack. Swing. And we'll hold up removal. Oh, they copy an expel. And they double lightning axe. And they draw three good for them, which means they get back Phoenix. I'm so proud of our opponent. They worked so hard to get that Phoenix. Oh, wait. Sack and discard. Hooray. Now everyone's happy. And look who it is. It's Pancake Nipples. We'll blitz. Force discard. Mega spank. Sack our treasures. Our bone crusher. Opponent takes out desperation. Opponent has removal. Oh, and a third spell. Taking out Lily. We'll swing. Opponent trades. And now it's not looking so good for us. Oh, wait a second. Sack. No creatures for them. Opponent digs. Uh oh, take out Lily. Oh my gosh. What? They're actually making a comeback. Oh no. Uh, well, we have enough for Croxa. If that's a land in hand, we win. But if it's not a land in hand, we lose. Roxa. Uh, yep, we're dead. How did this happen? I'm going to have two swimming in this first and asking me two. Opening hand, we have Dancing Sphere. And go blank with one land. Alright, you know what? We'll keep rest. Oh boy. Spell Pierce. And just pray we hit two lands on top. Uh oh. We will pass. Upon passes. And land for us. Fear. Oh, right. They have a negate. Old Sweet Poopsie. Upon digs. Setting a bread in pieces in hand. And fantastic. Perhaps Daddy's not in bread after all. Upon strangles. Draws. So there's going to be treasure fruits. Yep. We shall discard. And I thought she's cool. Thought she's it is. And man, a lot of stuff. Okay, we'll take Phoenix and then exile and pass back to opponent. They have a lot of digging. Oh, an arc like Phoenix already. Thought sees. Removal, sir. Young Pyromancer. How do we beat that? So this feels really bad. Let's take Pyromancer, then up Lily, and then up Iteration. Oh, they hard cast Phoenix. Going after Lily. We'll force discard. And now it's Croxa time. No more cards in their hand. Opponent attacks Lily again. But tragically for opponent. And made Hive. Exile Iteration. Oh, and they balance for Croxa. Alright, pass opponent. We take another three. And now Croxa again. Play Fable. And send it back. We take another three. Red Boar's pretty tempting. Yeah, sure, we'll keep it. And a Lily. First red boar. And reanimate Croxa. Now with no cards in our opponent's hand. Victory is ours. Still beyond game three. Opening hand could be good. We'll keep the rest. Our opponent's hand's pretty balls. So we'll take pieces and pass to them. Our opponent digs. But nothing good in graveyard. Not much we can do here. So we'll just play land and pass. Oh, a hearse. So they do have a braid in hand. That takes out the hearse. Maybe they'll braid the bone crusher. Opponent draws. And they fall for it. Our opponent digs. Putting Phoenix in graveyard. And now hearse time. Oh, let's try to pierce. So we'll pay it. We'll keep hearse at the ready. Now what? Thing in the ice. And strategic planning. Throwing a second Phoenix in graveyard. Bye bye. And perfect. Curse Lily. Mill. Game back on Crusher. And now Sack is scarred. Three cards in opponent's hand. Opponent digs out of desperation. They find Phoenix. Curse finds Phoenix. We shall stomp. We on Crusher. And what shall opponent do? Oh, they copy an expel. Oh no, a braid. Oh wait, they can't change the mode. Oh, the are Can we keep a hearse? Well, their cheeks are spread so wide at this point. I don't think it matters. Well, I'll awkward Lily. Game back on Crusher. Play Lily. Force is scarred. And then Bone Crusher. Crew and spank for six. Opponent's down to six. Someone draws. They take out Bone Crusher. I bet they didn't expect this. Discard. And made hive. And crew the hearse as I concede. That match is pretty sexy. And now we on to the next one. Opening hand, one land hands from out the mole. And yeah, sure, we'll keep. Oh, it'll be a Grease Fang combo deck. We'll take the Grease Fang, but they could reanimate it. Flat Lily for us. So let's play land and pass. And now it's off in graveyard. But luckily, I know Parhelion. Land. Fable. Oh, but it would save you Fable. At least we get a land. Now, how about Lily? Now, we could have played Lily this turn. We would have lost land doing it, so we might as well wait. Because right now, the more important thing is getting Hive online. And Exile on Grease Fang, and oh, they reanimate the mill dude. But nothing too kinky in graveyard. And another land for us. So we'll take out Wayfinder. And we hive. Exile can't stay away. And since I have treasures, we'll play Boobers. Discard and hope they don't have Parhelion. No 
Far Heal Ambush, Chariot. Oh, Hunt Mills, okay. Oh, and Traverse, that's so good. Hey, Delirium, so I'm gonna find a creature. And this Grease Fang. Better Chariot than Far Heal Yon. Let our opponent motorboat to the leaf. At this point, it's not looking good. Might as well talk on Numa. But nope, they have us. So we're going to him too. I'll go going to him too, so we're going to miss Fosun Ask him too. Opening hand, we have a hearse. So key. Hot seas. Oh, and they have a hearse. And also Par Helion. We'll take the hearse and send it back. And not hearse for us. And pass back. Gone dumps. And how generous of them. Finding stuff for us to exile. And to go blank as well. But for now, go harvester and pass it back. Oh, Elder Evolution. Finding the trespasser. Okay. As long as they have hearse, trespasser should be fine. Which are forever flat. Might as well player. Up to four. And pass back. Oh, chariots. Alright, we'll just go and draw. Ew. And triumph, not bad. What if we play the triumph? They're forced to discard. Three cards in hand. But not for long. And now one card in hand. Alright, up pulling pass. Old pawn digs. Having chariot and graveyard. Oh, they grab a seiju. Which means they can take out hearse. And indeed they do. Hot oh, seas for us. Sure. The land. So we draw. Meh. Another land. Alright, pass back. But as long as we keep nerfing their token, they can't create the chariots. We're so close to the Lily Ultimate. Okay, here's the plan. We'll up pulling one more time. And make tokens on their turn. And on our end step, they mill. Put in Karkeel on graveyard. And now they crew. Copy their token. But now we have tokens. Chomp. And look what we can do. Force of sack. And the discard. And now ultimate lily. Two zombies for us. And we'll keep getting more. Oh, they have can't stay away in graveyard. And a lot of it swings. Trade. And we'll draw on those two. Fable, okay. So play fable. And now get a nutload of zombies. Fabulous. Up on it draws a land. What a loser. Let's go and draw. Ew. Oh, this is a good land. And has a start swinging. Tickle their taint for ten. And more zombies for us. And victory is ours. Which means on a game three. Oh, hope on a hand. It's a bit clunky, so we'll mole. Eh, how much better. At least we have boobers to look at. So we'll keep. But we really need to draw land here. I'm yeah, sure that works. Stuff goes to graveyard. And just can't stay away. And triumph dies. Harvest of time. And send it back. Why oh, upon it swings? Why? Perhaps have reanimation? Oh, they didn't expect that. So they mill and take out Harvester. And there's Grease Fang. But only five mana to reanimate. Land for us. I'll go Fable. And just hope we survive this turn. Oh, with the exile. Oh man, they can find Grease Fang. And what? They find Hollow Blade? Because they can just reanimate the Grease Fang? Very suspicious of them. But I've done with that idea. Or Swing. We'll help out our opponents. Forcing discard. And there's Parhelion. Oh man, Thoughtsies. They're not screwed yet. Grease Fang for opponents. We'll sack our treasure. And take out Grease Fang. And now it's a push. Swing. We definitely want to keep the push. So we won't use Lily's discard. And they have another Grease Fang in hand. Oh my gosh. All right, here we go again. Push. A draw. And another Lily. Oh boy. We'll discard and draw. Oh, why? All right, swing. Up, Lily. But if they find a land here, it'll be bad news for us. Oh, no land for them. Oh, but a hearse. All right, we'll sack and draw. Triumph, okay. But another land. Now, a hard call here. We'll lose one away from the ultimate. So if we play Triumph now, then they'll get us with Grease Fang. And if we try and force them to sack the Grease Fang, they can create the hearse in response. Or if we get them to sack now, and I could have saved with the hearse. So they choose not to. Okay. Pray they don't have a land. And oh, no, I tapped the wrong land. We can't draw. Oh, my gosh. There's chariots. And rending volley, okay. And now check this out. Bye bye, permanence. And a hard decision for them. Oh, we're interested. Interesting. Animate. Thank for six. And what shall our opponent do now? <laughs> they play a land. And they've accepted the fate. We got a bit lucky there. But our ultimate was sexy. And now we'll be on to the next match. Opening hands, alright. We'll keep. We'll hold up a push. And there's Dovin. And nice, holy for us. We'll play Karxa. Oh, and they discard Priest. Better hide the little boys. Oh, and another oven. And Fable for us. There's a hard choice between that and Lily. But the sooner we play Fable, the better. I don't know. They can control our creature. And he's hacking like a treasure token. And I'll play Harvester. Oh. And I'll sack our creature. Okay, I don't think idea. We'll dump on push. We're bork, okay. And now Lily will nerf their Harvester. And then send back to opponents. Oh, they swing. Okay, that's fine. Oh, and they play Boobers Lily. And they choose not to force discard. Oh my gosh. Does that mean they have removal for the den? Okay, we'll play it safe. We'll head back to our turn. How about Thoughtseize? They can claim. Okay. And might as well triumph. Forcing that discard. Up Lily. Put out our land to pass. Even though we're probably gonna lose the fatal push. They play Witness. Well, they sack and oh, they can sack. They force us to sack. They sack the Witness. Our opponent really likes a sack. They sack a token to draw. And then send it back to us. You know what that means. Den. Take out Lily. Put out our land to pass. Will they animate their den? No, they play Mayhem Devil. And nice opponent pings. Which means we'll push. They sack in response. But now it's back to us. We could bring back Croxa. That seems pretty good. Or we could do Bone Crusher, but how can we turn down Croxa? Now as a force to sack. Oh, and opponent has Roll Strider and Graveyard. That could be a problem. We'll Mayhem Devil again. We have anything plan. We'll nerf the Devil. Get rid of the Devil. Here comes the sacking. Going after Lily. That's sexist. Our life is a bit low, but we'll blow out Underdog. Took over 12. And we get our card draw. And nice Boobers Lily. And there's gonna seed. I'm going to bring all this for all this one. That's going to be Opening hand. That's a lot of thoughts. I suppose we'll try it. Planned. And thought time. Oh boy, all this is pretty good. Removal, Graveyard, Host Strider. We gotta buy some time. We'll take Harvester and send it back. Here comes Pussy and Triumph. Eh, this feels bad. Thoughts is again. And we'll prepare for prison and grab the sack. Come on, swings. And there's Host Strider. Well, take out Strider. A sack a token response. And Thoughts seems like a bad idea here. So we'll play our land tapped and pass. Oh, oven. And a hearse. That's pretty brutal. Oh, Kalidus, nice. So Kalidus. Our opponent better sack here. Indeed they do. Oh, wait, I just remembered. I have to the swarm in hand. Oh boy, we should grab that with Thought Seas. Ouch. We're on the bright side. Takes all Host Strider. Cat comes back with a camp block. It has a menace. And that hearse is getting pretty scary. Already a 4-4. Four, four. Go down a 10. And a hearse for us. This shall be tricky. Play hearse. What shall opponent do? Oh, Takanuma. Killing host rider. And we can't interrupt it. So why they don't get it back? Oh, they return witness instead.
for them because we have a hearse ready. And exactly. They're hearse. Oh my. And they went host rider. And Lily does buy us a turn. We'll go after pussy. And if they try to reanimate, we have hearse. So what they're dead in there. They can at least they find a land, but no land for them. And what? They did have a land? Oh, and they exile Lily. Yep, they have us. And just when we drew Boobers Lily. But last game three it is. I'm going game three. bringing this for this last game three. Opening hand, two lands. Look, Boobers like this. How could we say no? We'll keep. Pussy time. Oh, two devils. Take one devil. A nice land for us. Harvester. And harvester for them. Both the other devil in hand. I think the sexiest move. A lock by the harvester. But a fable. Oh, Oh, Strider. That's pretty big brain. And harvester for us. How about we discard one fable? And perfect. Take out Strider. So we can make a treasure. And put out harvester. Oh, and there's Lily. That does complicate things. They force sack. But here's what we can do. Play this Lily. Send the goes to Jesus. Go after the boobers. Motorboat complete. And now what's the problem we can do now? And there's devil. We have to be very careful here. Because we sack our stuff. It also triggers the devil. So I'm going to save this thing. Fred Boar. Oh, we sack in response. So we copy the harvester. Spank for six. And send it back opponent. Oh, another devil. And they gain control of our harvester. That's pretty good because they can sack. And not on Kiki. And they play a harvester. Oh. Might as well do the rest. We take their braid. And now force their sack. They sack harvester. Then they ping the boobers. Okay, I'll pull Lee. Pass back. But there's a main land, which means they can take out Lily. Maybe we should have mailed there to get a creature back. But harvester doesn't do much here. Land for us, okay. We'll take all the wall starter in the graveyard. And there comes their main land again. And Kalidus, okay. Like Kalidus. And what's the opponent can do about that? Oh, opponent just cuts Wolf Strider. And they get back Wolf Strider. And he's a big boy. And also cats. And opponent passes. First, but it's a little late for that. So one crusher. Keep hers with ready and pass. Well, opponent sacks a token, which means we don't get a token. But if they sack anything else, a token we shall get. All of us sack their blood. Oh, a braid. And claim the firstborn. Yep, they have us. Wah, wah. But we had a good run. So there we have it. Was Boobers Lily good? I think so. But was she broken? I think far from it. Perhaps there's a better deck out there. One that unloads its hand faster. There's one card in particular that I have my eye on, and that's Evolve Sleeper. We can play it quickly, and it works well on empty hands, and perhaps we even try them on a black. With Big Boobers, the possibilities are endless. But let me know what you big boys think in the comments below. Were you impressed by the Boobers? And until next time, stay to me thick.